hello everyone welcome back uh, so today's series or today's video so it is going to be a little bit different one why uh, because uh, i have gone through uh, some of the linkedin messages and uh, i have uh, started receiving some of the questions like you know so um, I'm, I'm into this how do you come to devops i'm into that how do you become a devops engineer can i I'm completely new to this. Can I be become a DevOps engineer? So with that, um, I'm going to start with those uh, questions and try to answer in my way and whatever I have uh, seen and uh, my exposure. So mostly uh, uh, Somic. Um, Somic have uh, you know, asked me, uh, so I'm going to pick two questions and uh, there are some of the other questions as well, which I'm thinking I'm going to cover those things on the next uh, uh, you know, videos. So I think for this video, I'm going to cover two of his questions that uh, I'm a system admin and uh, how you know, can I become a DevOps engineer? okay so basically that is his first uh, question and second is like um, uh, with the system admin i'm also supporting that means he is also tending towards uh, supporting uh, roles as well so and uh, he also wants to move to devops so two things one is he is a system admin and wants to become a devops engineer and also supporting uh, that means also he have that support experience how can he convert it to devops okay so basically these are very valid questions and two fantastic uh, questions the reason is why uh, because i can relate to those t2 questions so that is why i picked those things so somic look um I'll just talk about my exposure first. So when I joined uh, iGate, that time I was just an operations engineer. So where uh, you just uh, monitor and escalate, right? So with that, I have started my career. And uh, that means just, you know, monitor and escalate. So you that would be some colors green yellow red so red means okay you have to call <laughs> amber means you have to send an email and uh, you know of course yes you have to check the system so with that i have started my career so then i am kind of towards becoming towards system admin role because i am uh, first i was thinking okay i'll go ahead with the you no know, linux system admin so that that is where I joined Nokia so where uh, I was completely administrating the servers deploying large-scale deployments and also introduced to AWS introduced to puppet introduced to Jenkins in 2010 and 11 so yeah it is uh, like uh, which company also you choose that is also you know uh, becomes a very very important on your this pathway so to answer your question why can't i why can't you right so if you are a support engineer i also started my career from a support engineer right if you are a system admin yes i proud to call me as a system admin okay so i love i love uh, you know how do i administrate the uh, you know system boxes or the linux boxes so with that the moment when you see or administrate the you know linux boxes automatically that skills you inherit you will going to inherit the infrastructure component part also you are going to inherit the system related specific administrative skills now coming back to you also have support right support experience that means you know the customer base what customer wants uh, system goes completely down so you are the one who is the frontliner who is checking right what's exactly happening you are the one who is logging to the system and seeing what's happening so best best lovely so the moment when you mix it and uh, you had a pinch of this 
CI, CD, uh, a little bit of configuration management. There you go. So you will be, you know, uh, ended up with uh, DevOps philosophy or DevOps mindset. So believe me or uh, no title in the companies not be having no one is going to give you devops engineer okay so because it's a mindset it's a philosophy okay so that is where uh, also i have an opening and if you have noticing in the bracket i have we have mentioned devsecops right so yes so with that um uh I would you know say that you are in the right direction although whoever is a support engineer can become or can come to DevOps whoever is a system admin he or she can come to DevOps they would be have added advantage the reason is a system administrator he will understand the system well a support personnel he will understand where exactly the system is actually failing right so the moment when you mix this administrative as well as support experience i think you will be you know amazing into the devops skills you add ci cd you add your orchestration tools like chef puppet or whatever terraform then yeah there you go so now you understand the where exactly it is failing okay you understand the uh, system side now the moment when you come with the your uh, you know building uh, deploying fastly uh, that's it there uh, you know you will slowly slowly move to, towards your goal so to answer your queries so yes definitely a support engineer can become a devops uh, engineer and also uh, a system admin yes they also can become a uh, devops engineer okay so uh, with that i'll just go ahead and talk about uh, current opportunity which is uh, with uh, me or with my team so um, so we are looking at uh, someone who is uh, into the linux systems so because uh, our systems are completely linux based and uh, containers 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 so because our build runs on containers how we deploy containers to a you know kubernetes cluster which is uh, i would say large scale deployment and of course yes ci cd being the jenkins being the standard de facto and observability we use uh, prometheus and grafana so these are the things um which we look for in an ideal candidate uh go ahead you know fill up and if i am liking your uh, uh resume then yeah i think you will get a call and uh, just uh, you know to go ahead with the rest uh so yep so this is this is this is what exactly about the uh, opportunity so uh, uh samik uh thanks thanks for those uh, questions and i hope uh, i have uh, uh, cleared uh, those things to a certif i mean to a, a to an extent uh, i am hoping that you won't be in dilemma saying that hey i am in this i am in that what i have to do so anybody who is watching this video and listen to my lecture uh, if you are a support engineer please uh, don't think like you cannot become a devops into devops if you are a system admin uh, yes you can also come to devops as because i have also done in the past so been there done that so go ahead you know keep trying and you never know you will be end up with in a proper solid you know uh, devops culture company and uh, where you will get to learn more and more and uh, earn as well all right so signing off uh, if you you know like the video please subscribe comment and uh, if you want to have some kind of doubts on devops uh, anything 
so you can also let me know uh, even uh, i have some of the questions which i'm going to come up in the second video so till then bye bye thank you good night